Hi, good morning guys. I'm at the launch of the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S in the Sento Circuit at Jakarta here in Indonesia. So this is the tire that will replace the uh, Michelin PSS. So yeah, we're gonna head to the track now. And uh, I reckon this is the more exciting track than Sepang. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Everything's here. Hi guys. I am in a Mercedes E250 and uh, wow, we're at the launch of the Michelin PS4S. So the PS4S replaces the Michelin PSS. It is sort of like for consumer use, it is top of the range, all right? This is straight up in Porsche 911 territory or Mercedes E63. Of course, we are not professional drivers. Bro, can you, your seat, can you move back? I shift all the way. Sorry, bro. <laughs> we are not professional drivers. So they give us E250 instead. And uh, I'm just gonna drive, right? Yeah. Yeah and feel how the tires perform. Okay, I'm gonna keep it side here. The track is slightly damp, but nothing to unsettle these tires. And in fact, I'm not going at speeds that will unsettle it. All right. First off, uh, it's rather comfortable. The roads are not very flat, but it's pretty comfortable. This is a very tight chicane, which I need to maneuver. <laughs> and uh, 70. Yeah, the car, the car feels very responsive, very very responsive. Yeah, even that is progressive. I like it. I like it. And, uh, no, none of these big boys make bad tires. Honestly speaking, they all make really great tires. Yeah, that's a chicken. Sorry, I can't recognize. Again, I like the braking feel because the car is also a very competent car, right? This is an E Class. We're not driving a Camry here. Very good grip. Very good. The only bad thing about this combination is me. I'm not a competent enough driver. <laughs> Go. Here's the braking test. I'm gonna reach speeds of 80 and then stop. That was very, very impressive. Uh, how many meters were we at? Oh, I 22. Stopped. I braked two earlier. 22. Yeah. 22 meters at 83 kmh. So remember when I drove the 4 Series 420i at Sepang? That was a lighter car. And. Um, we break at 60, it took 15 meters, okay? When we break at 30, it took three meters. So now that was 83, and then we break in 22 meters. Very impressive, very impressive. That was good. Tires feel good. Very confidence inspiring. Yeah. Oops. Very nice. You see, even that. Now, that surprises me. I don't remember that thing there. I wasn't paying attention just now, but I'm able to react nicely, okay? And uh, the tire did a good job, very good job. Because these are very expensive, very premium, uh, top of the range, ultra high performance tires along the lines of those really established ones, the, the big boys. See to the right, park behind the, the so, other side, yeah. Very good tires. I like the way it feels. Way it reacts and it's pretty comfortable. Are these run flats? Uh, don't think so. Okay, they're not run flats. Yeah. All right, so that's how it feels. Nice. Uh, P zero what? P zero. P purely P zero. Yes. Just P zero Yeah. All right. So. Uh, okay. All right, guys. Now I'm in the uh, Pirelli P zero. Okay, another famous tire. Uh, let me shift you guys a bit. Okay, let's see how it drives. First off, it's louder. It is louder, noticeably louder. Okay, and I feel the bumps more. I hear the road 
noise a lot more. Remember, it's the same car, E250. Uh, oops, catching up with traffic. Why so so? It's okay, we didn't just stop here for a while. Yeah, no yeah. <laughs> we are the last car, so it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those guys are really taking their pace. They are like... That is mid-valley parking lot speed. Yeah. They're the kind of parking lot where you can't find parking. Yeah, that's the kind of speed that they're doing. Alright, let's go. Let's go into the chicane again. That's like a half chicane now, huh? I think this is pretty obvious. The uh, PS4S slotted this Pirelli Zero not only just on um, the pro progressiveness, on the braking, and the overall pliancy of the tire, and road noise. I'm amazed. Is uh, yeah. See how big of a difference that. That, that makes you know there's a huge difference in how the two car drives same car different tires all right so we're gonna wait for them to disappear into the horizon then uh, yeah let's go okay 40 50 60 70 80 60 okay I was going a bit faster but I stopped at it says here 23 meters but I'm looking at the 24 here so I'm, I'm not sure yeah. so definitely longer the distance and uh, it just now it feels more assuring how it stopped just now uh, yeah so let's continue on corner adjustments than I need in that PS4S so here this is the surprise chicane that they give us so halfway turning at a fast speed and then you get surprised by this of course it's not a surprise because I remember it so that's unfair I come in in a better line None of these USB tires are bad, honestly speaking. When it comes to tires, right, the industry has progressed so much that the variances are in 1-2 meters or 2-3 mph, kmh, you know. But there is a difference. And why we're doing this kind of exercise? Because Michelin, Continental, Bridgestone, all these big boys, right, their tires are definitely good. But it's amongst them who is able to squeeze out more. That's the hard part. And uh, what this exercise tells me is that do not buy those Ling Long Ching Chong what the tires seriously. Alright, so thanks man. Fuck. Thank you. Yep. 
Okay. Yep. Let's go. So Maybe. we're gonna do the uh, wet breaking now, yeah. and then some slaloms and yeah. all that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's slam the brakes there. Yeah. Yep. 24.2 24.2, okay, thank you okay. 24.2 Alright guys, now we are in the one with the Pirellis And let's go okay. 27.1 so now we're in the uh, C C43 AMG which has 367 horsepower and a lot of torque I don't know 500 plus or what but it's a very fast car it's four wheel drive so there will be obviously a lot more grip and um I always love how AMG sound. You know, look at it, the sound and the way it goes. And, uh, yeah, man, fantastic engine. So lovely, lovely, lovely handling. So yeah, the car brakes really well. You can tell. I'm not driving, but I can tell. to the Audi S4, right? I have the Audi S4, which is 3 liter supercharged V6, and then my BM is 3 liter turbocharged, twin scroll. None of them sound as good as this. This one sounds so good. Lovely. And then that's the braking. Oh no, I'm not gonna do the brake. Ooh, we are gonna do the braking. Okay. Right. The car is so planted. Tires make all the difference. Boom. Pass. There we go. Left turn. Yep. That's one lap for us. Yes. I love this track. I love this track more than Sepang. Seriously. Tight track, very exciting. Sepang is too wide. Sepang is too. It's an F1 track. So for these kind of cars, you feel a lot more exciting at tracks like this. Just like our old Batu Tiga track, which was demolished. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Hello from Indonesia. Yeah. Say hello to him. Yeah, hello from Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, I love Indonesia, man. Thank you, man. All right. Let's go.